All right, so today, guys, we are going to be doing a uh, community center speed run. But the twist is I'm not going to be crafting anything. I'm not allowed to use the crafting window whatsoever. Now, what I define as a crafting window is this menu in particular, the one that says crafting right here. So anything that appears in this menu right here, I will not be allowed to craft throughout the entire run. Now, cooking does not count as that menu. It's a separate menu, menu in and of itself. So anything that you see right here, I will not be able to craft. So that means I can't craft a chest. Oh man. Oh well. The other small rules that I'll have for the run to make it more interesting is no traveling cart, because I'll just be able to get a lot of the items from the traveling cart otherwise. Rule number two, I'm not allowed to buy any raw resources from NPCs. So stuff like wood, stone, copper, coal, iron, can't buy any of that. Not allowed. Forest farm as per usual, it's just the best farm for speed runs. All right then, uh, let's just get started. Three, two, one, go. Well, first things first. Let's just go plant the 15 parsnips. <laughs> but unfortunately, I would like to get storage space. But as I showed in the intro, I'm not allowed to craft the chest. So we're going to need a way around that. And what is the best and only way around that? fridges <laughs> so our first goal is definitely to upgrade the house as fast as possible so i can buy a fridge and we're gonna store everything in a fridge really it what are the requirements 450 wood 10,000 gold we could also kind of get uh 12 extra spaces if we get an extra thousand gold or 2,000 gold you can get an extra 12 spaces, but really it. I'm just going to spend the first days using all my energy on clearing the farm, collecting wood. I'm going to need a lot of it if I'm not allowed to buy resources. Since I still need to do the animals later, and I'm not allowed to buy wood and stone like I do in speedruns, I'm going to have to farm it all. I would like to go to the mines as early as possible. The main issue with that is... Uh, yeah, inventory space isn't fun. I could throw stuff on the ground and that could be my storage, but it'd be a little annoying. Yeah, the issue with throwing stuff on the ground as storage is the fact that I can't throw tools on the ground, which is the main issue with going to the mines early on is if I don't have a place to put my tools, I'm playing with essentially three, four less inventory spots which is very painful. Like that, that is very painful. At the same time, I don't really have much of a reason to rush the mines. And the reason I don't have much of a reason to rush the mines is due to the fact that I won't be able to make sprinklers. What's the point? Uh, what's, uh, what's the point of making sprinklers? I can't, I can't craft sprinklers. We're watering everything by hand this run. I can't make preserve jars either, so it's like, oh, we're gonna do everybody's favorite crop, blueberries. I, I, I can't do anything else. I could fish, but I don't really wanna fish for money. It's just slow. It's good for in-game time, but it's not good for real life time. Yeah, it's really just a bunch of clearing wood right now. Cause I have, I have the wood needed for the house upgrade now. The issue is, is I'm missing, uh, 9,500 gold. Uh, let's just make a little tree farm, I guess. Yeah, the biggest issue with this run at the start is 100% inventory space cord. Because I'm working with 12 slots, there's no chests that I can craft. So, literally, my very first goal... I didn't need to do that. My very first goal... <laughs> is to uh, <laughs> get some extra inventory slots to do stuff. Yeah, I, I am actively avoiding clay farming in this run. I'm well aware that the best thing I could do is clay farm to get the 10,000 gold I needed for the house upgrade. That is by far the best thing that I can do. 
with my time right now. But it's lame, so. It's lame for a challenge that I'm already banning buying raw resources for. Right? Like, if I didn't- if I didn't ban buying raw resources, I probably wouldn't do it. But it's like, it's not that same level, because it's essentially the same thing. It's using clay to- to buy mats. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I feel like I should just sell everything. I don't really need the money. I'm gonna get more, so I don't really care about holding on to stuff right now. Ah, I know what. I will hold on to one of everything. The reason I'm gonna hold on to one of everything is because I- can open up the community center tomorrow. We want a green bean and then just a bunch of potatoes. Open up the community center tomorrow. I get the 30 seed packets and that's just a bunch of, that's just 1,050 gold right then and there. We're kind of just doing the standard casual start <laughs> where you do your first round of parsnips. I think some people just sell the parsnips and get potatoes and then just do a second round of potatoes and then buy strawberries. Well, I know what the real fun part about this challenge is. I can't actually craft the scarecrow. So, uh... <laughs> We're playing a prey game. I hope my green bean doesn't get eaten. Oopsies. Yeah, I can get a rare crow at the flower dance for 2,000 gold, but... Theorem, by the way. Hey, yeah, it's more of a speed walk. Let's be real. If this was a real speed run, I would be clay farming right now. But it's lame, so. It's a lame way to solve every problem early on. Well, at least he didn't eat the green bean. Playing a game called Crow Roulette. Will he eat the green bean? Take your bets now. All right, next up, I really think I am fine on wood. I'm kind of just waiting until I am waiting until the 13th for the first festival. I will definitely buy the backpack before the house upgrade. Even though the house upgrade is like the longer term solution. I, I just think the, the 12 inventory spots the backpack gives will just be enough to be able to start doing other things. Alright, uh, I think we're good to just start sleeping. I can't really chop down more wood. I can clear a little bit more, but it's just not worth it. We're just going to go out and water at this point. Oh, well, I think the green bean is safe because now I won't have enough. Uh... There won't be enough crops for the crows to spawn. Farming level two for stuff that I can't craft. 3,000. Eh, okay. Well, I know what also sucks. Me not getting 18 eggs at the egg festival. If you are good at the game, you can get this egg by the trash can, by the way. It's theoretically possible. The task has like an extra half a second to get it. It's very difficult <laughs> if it's not uh, apparent. You know, there's a funny bug in salmon for the salmonberry bushes where if you log, you'll have about 40% more salmonberries on the bushes compared to if you don't log. The issue is, is if I logged right now, I would lose a bunch of items. So... Yeah. Which list, by the way. Really it. That said, it's already been like 45 minutes, so I probably do need to pick up the pace if it's still uh, <laughs> spring. So I could get overly excited and on the next harvest, I will have enough money for the house upgrade. The issue with that is that I won't be able to buy a mini fridge for extra chest space and I won't have the money to buy any crops in 
summer. So we're probably gonna have to wait until the blueberries are done growing to get the to get the house upgrade. That said, I will buy the backpack upgrade at the start of Sumer. Rare Crow. Yeah, I need to buy the Rare Crow here too. I kind of do need to buy the Rare Crow here, don't I? And uh, let's just sit in the corner as we watch everybody dance. And when I say sit in a corner, I mean you guys sit in a corner while I go get water. Go down and pick up the thing. I don't need these strawberries for anything else. They're not gifting Demetrius. No point. Just sell them. Sell, sell, sell. Who's ready to water 89 blueberries? Sometimes you just gotta get the painful part out of the way early on and just deal with the fact that you're watering a shit ton. Do you guys see the reason why I say basic sprinklers are absolutely busted? I wouldn't have to water any of this if I could craft basic sprinklers. But no, everybody's just against me on that, saying basic sprinklers are a waste. Oh man, crazy. People who think that basic sprinklers are bad are delusional. If your argument is, is they don't look good, then, I mean, yeah, they they don't look good, I'll agree. But you can't say that they're not good. They're very good. Arguably, basic sprinklers are the best sprinkler type for the point in time that you get them at. They're so dirt cheap. Easy to acquire. Like, level 2 farming is nothing compared to the level 6 of quality and level 9 of iridium. Again, dirt cheap to make, piss easy to get, still water a decent amount of crops. <laughs> I recommended basic sprinklers on strawberries on Reddit and didn't get downvoted. Ooh. Yeah, it's just better than manually watering so many crops. Oh, well, well, first things first. We're gonna have to come back in year two, so. Uh, I plan on gifting Clint for the bars as well as uh, Wizard for Fire Quartz. That's a lot of watering that I have to do daily. Uh, oh well. It's for the money. It's for the money, Habu. It's fine. You got this. It's only three can refills a day. I wish retaining soil was better or cheaper so we could use it in speedruns. I think it would be fun. The issue is, is generally stone is just way too valuable to give up on because it's 20G each in the speed run. So it's like early on, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to use it. Pog? Killer? More money? Pog, it's, oh wait, it's the 13th. I'm guaranteed a rain day. Melon grew up though. You know what that means? We get a free sprinkler! <laughs> Woo! Eight spots out of 80. It covers one tenth. You wanna know what the depressing part is? I would have to destroy a blueberry for it to water all eight. Boop. 
Sprinkler! <laughs> Oops. Misclick. I think I yeah, I think I need one more harvest if I want to be able to cover the cost of the house. We could go mining soon. I do need to get down to at least uh, 50 like we do in speedruns. I do need to make sure I keep a few gems to give Clint. All right, let's sell everything. Boom, boop, 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 boop. Uh, grape can go as well. Uh, don't sleep yet. I still need a water. Wow, farming level six, quality sprinklers. Yeah, I had a lot of extra money, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I could have sold earlier. 30k, not bad. Uh, bats. Always bats. What I need sap for? I don't specifically need sap. I'm just getting it because I'm not allowed to buy raw resources. Which means I have to cut down a bunch of trees. Can I buy the... Can I buy it already? No. I actually have to wait until the house is upgraded. That kind of sucks. I was hoping I could just immediately buy it. I could buy the backpack upgrade, but is it really worth the 10k for the backpack? Not really. 12 extra spots for 10k. <laughs> I'd rather just buy an, an extra mini fridge. I don't like how I get to hear the bonking of Robin's hammer now that now when I'm watering. Now that the house is done. Uh, nice fridge tools. Uh, we can put everything we don't need in here. Oh, we love we love fridge tools. I kind of want to hold up my tools right now, though. I must admit. Question is, is how many pumpkins do I want to do? I feel like I should just get all the money out of the way now when I feel like watering. Uh, compared to later when I don't feel like watering, so... How many pumpkins am I willing to do? Alright. Well, I guess we do more than a hundred, uh... Pumpkins. In the normal route. How many do I really want to do? Ah, uh, we'll just do 150. But... I'm hoping that after two rounds of pumpkins here, I'll have almost enough money for the run. We're playing the true capitalist farming sim known as uh, Stardew Valley, where the goal is to just water as many crops as you can to make the most amount of money possible without interacting with any NPCs. And, uh, yeah, just watering the entire time because you don't have enough energy to do anything else. 150 pumpkins, guys. 150 pumpkins. We love watering. Oh, we got a rain day. We got a rain day. You know what day... You know what that means, guys. We got to put our, uh... We got to cool down our tools. And it's time to go fishing. I mean, I'm just going to do the standard TC fishing route. Sunfish today, hopefully. And we're trying to get red snapper, sardine, tilapia. And then we'll go up to the river, catch shad, walleye, catfish, tiger trout. All right, only missing tiger trout. What's new? Only missing tiger trout. So what's new? Do I want to buy coffee today? Do I really need it? Not really. Eh. Eh. Alright. Well, let's remember to uh, not cook anything. While all these fish are in here. I'm not going to cut out all the watering. Just most of it. <laughs> just like 90% of it so I did a little of off screen grinding yeah basically I guess these finished on Friday not Wednesday 
The fact that people would just watch you if I was watering shit. Well, yeah, apparently you guys think this is interesting enough to uh, just watch me water. I'm going to be watering 100 or 320 crops. <laughs> 320 pumpkins for 28 days straight. Not to mention the 80 blueberries I watered. Yeah, I don't know why people just watch me do this sometimes. I really do question it. Look at that. Look at this big chunky harvest. Oh, 80, 40, 17. Boom, bada boom, bing. Big money. Farming level eight, farming level nine. Oh, 56,000. Beautiful. Hopefully that should be enough after the second harvest of pumpkins. Ooh, is... Ooh, baby. And we got our corn. We're good, we're good with fall crops now. Don't need. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't, 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 don't. Okay, save those for later. All right. Go back to the bat cave. Happy with our pomegranate and then purple mushroom time. Uh, oh, this would have been nice earlier. Uh, do I need more wood? Do I really need the double drop chance of forger? Not really. Like, what does it matter? I don't need the extra forge. I'd rather get more wood. 60,000. All right, I think we have enough money for the rest of the run. Uh, oh, there's 3,000 each. Oh. Do I need two? Nah, I don't need two. Where's the... Oh, do you need to upgrade your axe first before you can buy the wood chipper? I did not know that. Oh, wood chipper is winter second. I did not know that. <laughs> Remember, you're on a budget. I know I'm on a budget. That's why I don't want to buy extra stuff. I know what my budget is. I don't want to grow any more crops besides the ones that I like still have to. Winter, winter. And you want to know what we're doing in winter? We are finally going mining. So time to check the TV and pray that it's uh, a good luck day. And do this. You're probably, since I have a lot of extra salmon berries and blackberries, I should be breaking the double hit rocks for extra stone along with the big rocks as I go down. I need a lot of stone for the buildings and it's just the most efficient way. I don't need to pick up too much copper. Since I can't craft a furnace, I'm only gonna end up smelting five bars for an axe upgrade later. Oh, so on winter 13th, that crate becomes a club. Interesting. I'll definitely remember that for any run that for whatever reason has a, has a, uh, <laughs> a day that I go out on winter 13th. <laughs> Very interesting. Forty-five levels is not bad. I did go through a lot of uh, food to do that, but I got five hundred stone for it, so pretty happy. I need to turn stuff in. Oh man, more stuff I can't craft. at some point in time.
Yeah. Uh, which bundle am I trying to click on? Well, uh, I guess next good luck day, we are going to get to 50 and finish up the mine shenanigans. Streamer, you, you winter tilled right there. That's cheating. You winter tilled. Oh no. How the hell am I supposed to get it otherwise? Invalid run now. XDD. Yep, yep. What day is Clint's Glenn's birthday is the 26th, right? I guess I can go through town. I need to uh, upgrade my... Poop at Robins again, anyways. How does one win a community center speedrun by finishing the community center? I can't believe I soft locked on a casual playthrough. I can't believe I just did that. Ain't no way did I chase. <laughs> There's no way. I have to run back down to the wizard now. This game is so dark sometimes. It's so easy to soft lock this game in that menu, by the way. For those who don't understand how I soft lock, if you select the build tool, every other button but the destroy a build a button instantly despawns so you can't click on it. So if you click multiple times in that menu like I do because I just like spam clicking and you move your mouse slightly to the right after you click the build button, since the destroy the building button doesn't despawn, you can click on it. And if you click on that, it soft locks you. Let's please not soft lock this time. One, two, build. Don't click again. Now I can click build. Well, I hope you guys enjoy floor resetting. Because this is the fastest way to get stone. Kind of at the point where I just need a bunch of raw resources. So it's just a lot of, uh, you know, off screen grinding. All right, so I did a little bit of off-screen grinding. I have all the wood and stone I need now, so we're pretty good to go. Next up is upgrading the barn and gifting Clint. Oh, Robin! I need a barn and now we wait what do we want to talk about chat we got three minutes for the next uh through <laughs> we basically are going to be waiting for nine minutes i'll start what is a raisin is it a fruit it's a dried fruit right that's what it would be classified as not really fruity though you know, the dried grape, but it's like, it's different than other dried fruit, I feel like. It's abnormal. Happy birthday, Clint. We're gonna move the barn.
Maybe there's a Nautilus shell on the beach. And we'll be fine. Hope. We're probably gonna have to sleep ages for this, uh, for these NPCs to give gifts anyway, so it's, it's really not a huge deal. Fine. He sent a gift and I'm an idiot and opened it. Oh, we gotta reset. Oh, fire quartz, please. Oh, and Kent is talking to me again. I'll do this tomorrow. I technically don't need much more. Cherry. I have an orange, an apricot, a cherry, a palm, and two apples. And I'll be able to get a jelly later on, and I'll have honey. So, I should be fine. I just need to buy an apple tree. Rabbit? By the way, hay is not counted as a resource. It does not have the resource tag, so. But that's a lot of spring onions. What counts as a resource tag is one of these. 30 should be fine. Don't need anything else. Alright. I'll buy wood chippers last. I don't know how much extra money I'll have. And there's our fire quartz. What else do I need to buy? I need to buy an apple tree, which is 4k. I guess technically if I get another apple from the... If I get an apple from the bat cave, I don't need an apple tree since I already have two. But the odds of me getting another apple at the... Uh, so I don't need an apple tree. How many 50-50s am I going to lose? That's a white chicken. One. Aw, oh, only one. That's an early duck feather. Why can't these animals be as good in in speedruns? In actual speedruns that matter. Why can't I have animals like this in a normal speedrun? Oh, but what the Bruh! I'm gonna need more of those. Thank you, good sir. Weird, I know. Lasagna's good, don't get me wrong. But... You know. I don't want to put apples in there. Otherwise, I'm going to get annoyed. Is there anything else that I have that I need? No. Oh, wait. Take those on. Spell this fingy. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat, for being oh so helpful. One of the cheaper ones. Have hype.
Ah bon. Oh, I guess I also needed a sea urchin. And a cockle. Alright, we're done with crab pots. I don't have that much time to catch it is the scarier part. Because then I just have to wait until 12 again if I don't catch it. I hate... I... <laughs> We can get carpet secret woods later. Crap pot done. I guess I could just duplicate the amethyst so I have more clink gifts. <laughs> Woo! First room! Four hours and 51 minutes in! First room completed! Hey, there's our first one. One of three! Axe in a mini fridge. Look at that. A keg. Oh, look at that. A preserve jar. Oh, look at that. A greenhouse. <laughs> that room. What did I even get from that? Yeah, I mean, it's really just a waiting game on Clint at this point. How long will it take him to send me two more bars? Oh, there's two. Oh boy, just need one more. Woo! Wait, did he give me two? No, okay. The hell is over, guys. We don't even need to gift him on his birthday. <laughs> Now we just need to win a one in three chance to get the copper bar instead of the other two. From behind. Easiest clap. Furnace. And that is the only way how to get a furnace. For the wine in here as we pass by. And, well, I guess we gotta start smelting. We need five copper bars and five iron bars for the axe upgrade. Hi, Grandpa! How happy are you with my farm? I think it's hashtag one candle. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's just a one candle angle. I haven't really done much. Grandpa was fuming, yeah. Check the shrine. I don't really want to check it, but it's going to show me it anyways. Oof. Copper axe. It convert. It generally, its general purpose is the fact is that it converts hardwood into wood. Each hardwood is about, uh, <laughs> I think it's like five to seven wood is what the wood chipper actually is supposed to do. But there's a low odds of it giving you tree sap instead. Which sure, hardwood do we need? Uh, a, a, probably a decent bit. All right, steel axe. We're in the end game now. Bought a pow. And now it's time to collect a bunch of hardwood. All right, lovely, lovely wood chippers. 
You want to know a random fun fact about the forest farm? Even though it's a forest and whatnot, it's base. It's base amount of hardwood that you can get from a full clear is one of the lowest out of all of them. I'm pretty sure it's the second lowest. Only being lo only being better. Only being better than the fish farm. Or the Riverland farm. Alright, now we pray. Easiest maple syrup and oak resin of my life. Right here. Riveting content. We are absolutely gambling. Edge of my seat. Yeah, any one of these can be the 0 0.06 odds of getting the, the maple syrup or the oak resin. But... wrong one I'm gonna f I'm gonna lose it I'm gonna lose it there ain't no way the worst part is is because it was one over I'm paranoid that they're like seated in a way where it's like the next one I'm gonna get is gonna be a pine tar in this third spot That happened in less this time. We're just gonna continue brute forcing, it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, I can buy three now. Ooh, we are... I thought it's... Ooh, we are gaming! Pog, we got one. We got one. Alright, just need the syrup. I... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna get the maple syrup soon. Hopefully. So it's like a link to watch time, but it's not necessarily true. All right. We're good. Great. Boom, boom. Bop. That is crafts room. Carp. Wood skiff sandfish. And finally. Bolts and board. And that is the entire community center without crafting a single item in less than six hours.